Well, when you take over a state title game, you get to be our FNL Player of the Week. That's just how it works around here. 265 passing yards, 118 rushing yards, and five total touchdowns for Holland Hall's Wallace Clark. Absolutely dominated the 3A title game. Earned Holland Hall its first ever gold ball, and you are our FNL Player of the Week. Congratulations, my men, on a fantastic game and season. You've got a $100 gift certificate from Wholesale Computer Supply coming your way. That'll be uh, redeemable upon graduation. And we also got a certificate coming your way that you'll be able to have. Man, what a fantastic game, first of all. Lincoln Christian had not let up that many points this season going into that game. We all thought it was going to be close. You had different plans. Uh, I was pretty amped up. State championship game. I mean, obviously, I came in knowing it was my last ever high school football game, so had a little bit of fire underneath me there as well. And especially playing Lincoln, I know some of the guys over there, and uh, I've just never really I've kind of clashed with them my entire career in Oklahoma, so playing them for the state championship was extra special, so I had a little bit of extra heat there as well. I was just thinking, try to stay calm. I mean, I know there's going to be some smack talk going both ways. We're a pretty chippy team just uh, with the amount of penalties that we have throughout, accumulated throughout the year, but we actually held back pretty uh, nicely there in that last game, which was good to see, especially. And then I was just thinking, stay calm, do your job, trust the guys around you, and we'll go out there and succeed. This game was really close early on. What did it take for you guys, and was there a moment that you guys realized, hey, we can run away with this thing, we can win this thing? I think for me it was Nunu's first interception because we got stopped that first drive and they were kind of marching down a little bit and then we got them to a third and long and they threw the interception and after that I was like, all right, all jitters gone, let's go do this thing and kind of took over from there, I'd say. I mean, what does it do for not only your team but also the legacy you want to leave behind? Because you told me after the game you want to start a legacy, you want to start a, a dynasty here at Holland yeah. Hall. I mean, I think it does a lot, obviously, and it, I, I would say it starts entirely with the coaching staff and everything. They get us prepared throughout the entire week, and they do a lot of hard work behind the scenes, watching film and getting a game plan together. And by doing that, we're able to go um, out on the field and just put it on tape and just be prepared for what's about to occur. And then I'd say as far as the legacy goes, just being able to go out and perform the way we did last Friday night shows that if we can do it this year, we can keep repeating the same uh, kind of performances. It just means a lot to get that first dub for the community and I mean hopefully it'll build on that in the future. I think it's important just for just the legacy of the school just being able to look back and say yeah I was the first group to do it but now that we've done it like groups following can follow in our footsteps and just be just as important in a powerhouse just for I guess future kids to be successful. You told me after the game it hadn't really sunk in yet that that was your final moment on the field. Did it? Has it sunk in and, and when did it sink in if so? I think it's sunk in now just because I've already started the whole baseball practice side of things and I'm getting into my main sport and um, just the thought of not being able to play another football game is pretty sad but I mean my, a couple of my buddies and I are going to be playing some snow football or stuff like that and just kind of goofing around which will be fun to kind of relive the type of football atmosphere. So this was funny when we were just talking about you win Holland Hall, it's first gold ball. That's not really your sport. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your plans for after college. Um, as far as after college, the, sh the plan right now is just to get drafted in the for baseball as soon as possible and see where that career can take me. Yeah. Where are you going? What are you playing? Going to OU and playing shortstop. So that'll be very fun. What is it about baseball and, and why did you pick up football? I mean obviously the transition to quarterback makes sense but when was it that you decided that you wanted to pick up football and play in the winter is a fun way to stay active in the winter? Um, I, I played football when I was a little bit younger in like third grade when I lived in Connecticut and then I quit for a few years because I was focused on kind of other sports and stuff around there and then when we finally moved back to Oklahoma is when I made the switch to start playing football again full time. Um, my dad went to Holland Hall here and he played football and basketball and baseball so I wanted to kind of do what he was doing and get that multi-sport kind of feel I guess and it just kind of develops athleticism and stuff like that so good way to not just burn out on one sport as well. I, was able to focus my mind on two different things instead of always saying drilled in on one specific sport. Well, you've certainly started the tradition of winning here at Holland Hall. Undefeated season, knocking off the 26-0 run, Lincoln Christian Bulldogs. 
to win the first state title in Holland Hall history. And to do it, all you had to do was get 265 passing yards, 118 rushing yards, and five total touchdowns. Your player of the week, your newest Sooner for baseball, Wallace Clark. Congratulations on the title, buddy. Thank you.